Hello all. Today I will be discussing about new field code formatting marks in MS Word. So the shortcut to create a new field code formatting marks. The shortcut key for that is Control F9. And with this new formatting, I mean this uh, code formatting. I mean uh, to uh, I mean code formatting in a particular piece of Word, we can achieve many things. So let me show you one by one. First of all, uh, this code formatting field marks will be uh, can be used with a combination of cut text to convert a text a numeric numeric number to a text number or a string value. So let me go to MS Word and then let, let me first uh, type a few integer number, few integers or few numeric number say 989 rupees then let me select all of this section all of this uh, number and press control f9 key then press equal to then press slash and then star and then cut text and to update this this is a this particular placeholder control f9 it places a placeholder for a formatting so this 989 is being formatted uh, 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 with the help of cut text so what this formatting would be doing uh, so to update the field i will be pressing f9 key and this field will be updated so 989 so what we have learned is that control f9 is a new field code formatting marks i mean it uh, for a particular piece of document it, in, it inserts a placeholder and uh, to, after inserting this placeholder uh, using some function we can update that particular field so within two curly braces the code formatting mark within these two curly braces the text is being inserted the text gets uh, I mean inside that particular text some using some function we can achieve some I mean in, like in card text we achieved uh, converting the numeric number to numeric number to a textual number so what are the other uses of cut text let me show you you can also uh, use it for a pop-up balloon so how to create a pop-up balloon in ms Word? so for that reason you will be requiring this particular piece of text auto text leaks and then uh, the text you want to so this is the uh, this is the text the text and there will be no separator it will be slash s and then no style and then what I want to pop up so let me change it to pop up balloon pop up balloon B A L double O N pop up balloon I think balloon whatever it is so let me show you what it does let me roll back let me switch back to MS Word and type some word this is a text not text this is a then press control F9 and inside that press place this particular piece of text within that code formatting block so this code formatting block is having a function using a function the name of that function is auto text leaks now to update this particular formatting block i will be pressing f9 key from my keyboard and whenever you hover over this balloon see it says pop up balloon and you can add uh, some more piece of text some more piece of text so that's how it works so hover over this this uh, this portion and the pop-up balloon would, would show up so uh, the text the text on which this hovering would be i mean on a hover the uh, pop-up balloon would, so this is the textual document this is the text which will be displayed when it is hovered mohinda cursor is hovered over and this portion this piece of text is the linker i mean uh, over which this pop up balloon would show up so i have to i have shown two of the uses of control f9 one 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 is the cut text function used within the code formatting block and another one is the pop up balloon now the third one would be to uh, the third one would be to uh, we will be using will we will be using with tables <coughs> pardon me so uh, how to use it uh, how to use it with tables so for this particular section i will be inserting a blank table so here it is and let me also write down the keywords how to work uh, work around with tables we have the above we have the beyond not beyond sorry we have the above we have the below 
we have the left and we have the right these are all the functions available for the textual i mean for the numeric calculation of table in ms word so let me uh, insert some random text so 23 43 then again say 33 then again say uh, 55 and say less 56 and say 76 and 33 33 and let me clear this particular uh, let me clear out let me okay fine now you have to press control f9 key control f9 to insert the placeholder and after that we can use any uh, function we, not any function we can use some function to uh, within this code formatting block to achieve something so i'll be writing above above and to update this field will be pressing f9 key and so the summation is being done appropriately and in the same in the similar fashion i'll be pressing control function f9 key and then within it i'll be pressing uh, equal to say sum and it would be below and let me close the bracket and press f9 key function f9 okay 165 so uh, and also let me discuss what this control f9 does in ms excel so if this is a ms excel which is being uh, opened up uh, type anything uh, some data some random data so control f9 key what it does is that it minimizes this particular excel workbook so these are uh, this is all about the formatting text this is all about the new field formatting marks in, in, in Microsoft Word or Microsoft Office package. So we discussed about the card text. So inside this uh, formatting mark, we can use this function card text to, uh, to update the field of, that, of, a, of a numeric number to a string number to a word do, I mean, uh, textual document, textual number to a, from, from a numeric number to a textual number. We can use this pop-up balloon, we can use this uh, create a new field code formatting block, this uh, code formatting block and then updating the field. We can use it for pop-up balloon and for that the particular function which you, we used is auto text list. Auto text list is that function and the third one is, is for the tables. For the tables we can use equal to sum, max, mean, average and something and so on. And the keyword to, do, to achieve the calculations are above, below, left and right. So that's all for this session. Thank you.